Hello guys, so there is a big problem in London at the moment. So basically, we run out of hand sanitizer. So if you're working with pe with the uh, with, uh, public like myself every single day, so you're meeting uh, 10, 20, um, 30 people every day, uh, you get in contact with them, you have high chances to uh, contract coronavirus. You have higher chance to contract coronavirus than someone that works in an office. So I went to four different pharmacies. I went to Tesco. I also went to Tesco, Aldi's, Lidl, uh, Sainsbury's, Morrison's. But everybody ran out of toilet paper. I don't know why toilet paper and uh, hand sanitizer. I'm worried about more about hand sanitizer because this actually kills uh, the virus. So in this video today, I'm going to show you how to make your own hand sanitizer and your own antibacterial hand wash because I noticed that um, antibacterial hand wash is also um, running low. Um, you can still find antibacterial hand wash, but it's almost impossible to find uh, hand gel or hand sanitizer. So uh, let's understand how hand sanitizer works, first of all. So hand sanitizer is made out of two parts. First of all, it's made out of um, surgical spirit, uh, which is 95% alcohol. And uh, also it's made out of um, a moisturizer because hand, uh, surgical spirit will kill every, or uh, rubbing alcohol, if you're American, will kill every single, um, every single will kill 99% of the viruses on your hands, but it will dry up your hands. So in order to keep your hands moisturized, you can either use an aloe vera uh, cream or just a um, hand cream or a moisturizer. Um, so uh, what about the proportion? Um, okay, oh, by the way, you can, use, you can literally use straight up uh, surgical spirit. It will not make any difference. Uh, actually, it will make a difference because it will dry up your hands quite badly. So, um, but in case of an emergency, just use up straight up uh, surgical spirit. You can still find this for sale in almost every single pharmacy. You can still find this for sale on, um, in like supermarket pharmacies and so on. Um, so you could pull it, you can put it in a, in a small container. I'll put the link for Amazon, uh, if you want to buy this kind of a, a bottle, um, you can put it in a container and, um, square it on your hand and it will work just fine. You will work exactly like a hand sanitizer. Uh, but today I'm going to show you how to make your own hand sanitizer. So you'll, your hands will not dry up. So basically the proportion you want, uh, is, uh, 50%, um, the, the ideal proportion will be three parts surgical spirit, one part hand cream. Um, but uh, for the, because I want to make, um, be, uh, um, I want to keep my hands a bit more moisturized, I'm gonna use 50% uh, one part surgical spirit and one part um, uh, moisturizer hand, or hand cream. Um, it's not exactly the ideal, but it will still work. So, but do not go over 50%. So do not put more than 50% uh, hand cream um, because it will be less effective. Okay, so before I, before I start, uh, you might wonder yourself, what if we run out of surgical spirit? What can we, is there an alternative? Yes. Uh, and uh, let, me, let me start by saying that um, vodka is not an alternative. I've seen videos with people making vodka, uh, um, hand sanitizer out of vodka, but vodka does not work because you need at least 60% alcohol content. Uh, you need at least 60% alcohol content in, um, to, to be effective, uh, and kill the viruses. Vodka or any other alcohol on the market, they have a maximum of, uh, 40% alcohol. If you find vodka that is 60%, uh, I think that would be illegal to, sit, to, to, to sell it in UK. But by all means, use it. But it has to be at least 60% uh, alcohol to be effective. So, uh, but what if you can't find any? So, I have the answer for you as well. Okay, this is dirty because it was in my shed. But uh, bioethanol. So, bioethanol, you can find it at... Um, um, B and Q, uh, home, uh, home base and so on. Any, any D, uh, DUI stores. So bioethanol, I usually use this for my outdoor fireplace. I have a small outdoor fireplace, but it has 80% alcohol. So this will be effective because it has 80% alcohol. Um, okay. So by let's go and, uh, mix up, uh, mix up these things. So in, in order to, um, to mix this, this uh, these two things. I will need a bowl, a mix mixing bowl, 
a measuring cup and the syringe a surgical um and you can buy this syringe on Amazon. It comes with uh, with an um, universal um, adapter. So uh, this universal adapter, you can put it on top of um, of your bottle, and it will not spill. Okay, it, it spills out. But if you attach the syringe, it will not spill out. Um, isn't you don't have to have it, but it's it's good to have it. So, um, but what if you don't have a syringe? What if you don't have a bowl? Or what if you don't have a, you know, like a measuring cup? Uh, by the way, you can find those measuring cups anywhere uh, to any uh, larger supermarket. Uh, uh, to any larger store. So if you don't have a, a measuring cup, simply um, take out... Um, Take out a fifth, uh, uh, half of uh, half of the half of um, hand cream out of the tub. Just pour it out, and then um, with a syringe, just inject uh, the surgical spirit inside the tube. But we're gonna do it the proper way. So um, this one has uh, seventy-five millimeters. Uh, I already I already pour most of uh, I already pour some of the hand cream out of this tub. So I assume right at the moment I have about 50 millimeters left of um, uh, of uh, hand cream. So, uh, but let's uh, let's go and mix them up. So I'm gonna pour out. I'm gonna squirt out all of that this cream. Oh, smells really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna squirt out all of this cream. Uh, this is about 50 millimeters and uh, I'm gonna take a measuring cup it has 65 millimeters if you don't have a measuring cup just use the syringe it has five uh, it has five millimeters but just use it um, you know use it and just uh, pour it in you can do that as well but I'm gonna use a measuring cup because I have a measuring cup it's gonna take a while to use this syringe, but hey, uh, just improvise it. So, you're just gonna take this. Gonna have 65 millimeters of measuring cup, and pour it over uh, 50 millimeters of hand cream. Here we go. So right now I have over 50% uh, alcohol mixture in um, in this cream uh, so this will be an effective hand sanitizer so right now I'm just gonna take a spatula in my case I don't have a spatula so I'm just gonna take a, um, a pencil and mix it up really really well it's gonna take a while to make mix this up so I'm just gonna stop the video here and come back later after I mix it up really well Okay, so I found an effective way to mix it up. Uh, the pencil didn't work. And uh, what I did, I just put the cap back on the hand, uh, on the Tupperware and just uh, mix it really, really well. All right. So I also put a little bit more alcohol. Uh, so I have almost the... Um, almost... Um, 90 milliliters of alcohol. So almost three parts alcohol, one part uh, hand cream. So let's see what we have here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Okay. Okay, so this is the texture. Is It's a bit runny because he has a lot of alcohol, but which is good because if he has a lot of alcohol, this means it will kill the viruses. So it's a bit runny, which is perfect. And right now, what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna take the syringe back. By the way, you'll have some left uh, because you cannot put uh, 150 millimeters of um, liquid in a 75 millimeters re recipient. Hashtag laws of physics. So we're gonna take our uh, syringe. Uh, link on uh, on the description if you wanna buy it. And suck it in. And pour it. 
I'm just gonna I'm just gonna squeeze it a little bit and when I pour it it's just gonna go straight in do a little bit more that's right now I have 10 milliliters squeeze the bottle and pour it in if you don't squeeze the bottle uh, then you're gonna push in the air inside of the inside of um, this recipient and it's just gonna make a mess it's just gonna blow back in, on, into your face so let me do this a little bit one more that's it okay so uh i'm gonna fill it up later i'm gonna put the cap back on because he has an alcohol so alcohol will evaporate and um, it will have essentially became in ineffective okay it smells good though uh it still smells quite nice uh it's, it has a hint of alcohol but it still smells nice so let's try it out let's try it out squirt it back in on my hand does it work It does work it does work <laughs> smells you know uh, my hands are not oily my hands feel moisturized my hands feel great all right so uh that's it this is how you make your own hand sanitizer your own hand gel it's very easy to make it costs less like i said you could use okay this is very a bottle but you could use bioethanol if you don't have um if you don't have uh, rubbing alcohol or how you call it in UK, surgical spirit. Uh, but uh, it's effective and you better stay protected. So anyway, uh, this is the end of uh, this video, but uh, click in the link of the description. And uh, actually, let me, uh, should I do? Yeah, click on the link. I'll, I'll leave the in.